Hi, welcome to today's class. Today we have this challenge before us. The question is easy, but if you are asked to solve for the answer, which is x equal to minus 1, how do you solve for this? So let's solve this without much wasting of time. So we take our solution. Solution. Ah, so this is what we're going to do here. Because we are having minus 1 on this other side, the question is x to the power of x equal to minus 1. We are going to do a simple substitution here. So from here, we're going to say let, let our z be equal to minus 1 here for some set of complex numbers. Okay? So if our z here is, uh, I used to represent minus 1 here for some set of complex numbers, take note of that, right? So we can rewrite the original equation to be our x to the power of x equal to our z here. So what we do here now is this. We want to um, take log to both sides of the equation. So we want to take natural log. So we're going to have here ln of our x out to the power of x is equal to the ln of our z here. Okay. Using the uh, law of logarithm which says that if you have your um, ln of a out of the power of b move this backward this is going to give us our b times um, ln of our a here so if we succumb to this here then we can rewrite this expression here so how do we do that we move the whole of this to this side here so let's do that and this is going to give us our x the times our ln of our x, and this is equal to the ln of our z here. Okay, so what do we do here? From here, we want to do another substitution again. Okay, we're going to take our uh, p to be ln of x. So from here again, we now say let uh, p, let p be equal to the ln of x here. So if p is equal to the ln of x, and we want to I get the ln of x, sorry, we want to make s the subject of the formula. So what we do, we can erase, or sorry, we can bring e to the system. We now say e to the power of p equal to e to the power of ln there into our x. So from here, let's continue. Yeah. So here it's going to give us, for us to get our x from this expression we have here now. So we're going to have here e to the power of e equal to then our e to the power of ln of our x here. Okay? So we know this, this will leave the system. So we now have our x is equal to e to the power of our p here. Easy. So here we have our p and we have our x. So let's go back to our original equation. Sorry, this very expression here. So we want to put the value of x into this system here. What is our x? We have e to the power of p. So wherever we see s, let's put it there. So we have here, so this now implies that our e to the power of p times, what is our ln of x? ln of x here, ln of x is equal to p, so times our p, everything equal to um, our ln of z. Okay, so rewriting the, this is same thing as our p there, to the power times e to the power of p, this is equal to ln of our z here. So what we do here, look at this expression we have here now. That brings to mind the Lambert NW function, which says that if you have your star, I prefer using the star, so the, uh, times e to the power of e, this will not be equal to, if you take the WM function of this, this will give, give us a star here. Okay, so we remember this. Now, we can apply that here because what we have at the base, the same thing we have at the exponent. So let's take the WM function of our P uh, times our e to the power of P, those bracket, but so, so here we have the WM function of our ln bracket, our Z here, those bracket, bracket close. Okay. So from here, we're going to have our P. So have our P will now be equal to WN 
okay, into our ln bracket, our z close bracket, bracket or close here. Okay, now again, let's look at this expression we have here. Now we said let p be equal to ln of x here. So we can put in ln of x here. So because it's s we are looking for, so we're going to have here ln of x here. This is equal to w and the bracket to our ln bracket, our z bracket here. Okay, so from here, let's continue again on this side. So here we're looking for x. So how do we get our x here? Let's introduce e to the system. So this is going to give us our e to the power of ln of x close bracket equal to, we equally introduce e to this side, our e to ln, then into our ln of our z, right, close bracket, bracket here. Okay, so what can you see from here? This we leave with this, right? So we now have our x, we now be equal to our e to the power of ln bracket, the ln bracket, our z, close bracket, bracket. So this is the value of x. Now recall, what is our z from here? From our expression here, it says z equal to minus one. So from here, we now say recall, recall, that our z is equal to minus one. Then that brings to mind Euler identity, which says that uh, from Euler identity, we have that our e to the power of our i, the pi, the plus one, this is equal to zero. If we move this to this side, we're going to have our e to the power of i pi, this is equal to minus one. And here we have this to be minus one, right? So we can bring this expression here. So this now implies that our z is equal to our e out to the power of i pi here. How we get it something here? All right, so what do we do next in year now? But from here, we have ln of z here. So let's bring ln of z to this system. So if we want to ln this side, we will equally ln this side. So this is going to give us here the ln of our z. This is equals to the ln dot our e to the power of our i pi here. Okay, so we know that this we go with this. So we have here ln of our z will now be equal to, so we have here i pi here. Okay, so for any integer k of this expression, we're going to have our ln of z will be equal to our i, the pi, is our pi, please, into 2k plus 1. Okay? So now let's put the whole of this value, because this is our ln of z. Let's put it into our main expression here, where we have our x. So let's continue here and see what our values will give us. So we have our x will now be equal to e to the power of wn, then into bracket, what is ln of our z? Everything we have in here. So we have here our i, the pi, this is pi please, right? Okay, pi, then into our 2k plus 1, plus bracket. We said this is for any integer value of k. So how do we get the um, real root to this expression here? We have to choose our n and k wisely for our solution to be valid. Yeah, it's very technical. Okay, so for our um, n, if we take our n to be equal to one, then our k will be equal to zero. So for us to have a valid solution. So let's substitute this into the system. So substituting this is going to give us our e into w one, then into our i, the pi, the close bracket, our two, into zero, that is two times zero, plus one, close bracket here. And so this is going to give us our e to our, to our uh, one, then into this will give us zero, here will give us one. So time this, we're going to have here s. So if we put this into your work from our calculator, it will give us our special solution, which is my nux one. 
and not one. That is the answer. So have our x equal to minus one from here. All right. Now, if you put this into this, this is going to give us minus one to the power of minus one, and minus one to the power of minus one will give us minus one. Okay. So that is the unique solution we have to this challenge. If you learn something from this video, do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you have any question in any of the steps, leave it in the comment section so that we can reply to your comments. You have a better way of solving this also. Do not forget to share with Online Mass TV. We love you. Keep winning until we meet you in our next class. Bye. Now.